I have had quite a lot of people ask me how I create and edit my videos, and some people have even accused me of doing a job in Windows. I was like, well, no, I don't use Windows at all. I can do the whole lot in Linux. So I use KDN Live and Audacity. Well, KDN Live is a video editor. Audacity is an audio editor. And I also use Simple Screen Recorder for recording the desktop and GVC View for recording the webcam. A word on my equipment side. So I use a Blue Yeti microphone and a Logitech, I think this was a C910 webcam. It's getting on a bit now. I probably could do with replacing it at some point. And for some videos, I also use one of these, which is a pop filter. It's just for a webcam recording. This looks a little bit large. So I don't use that here. So we're going to use this video, which I recorded back in July. Oops, I've been sat on this one for a while. Well, I completely forgot about it because I left it as a bit of an obscure name, which was the Simple Screen Recorder recording date. So let's open this up in Audacity. So open with and Audacity. Yep, I'll have that. So I've just got to bring Audacity across to this monitor. Uh, discard a previous project. Yes. So here we are. Here's the video. So what I want to start with is removing the noise. So if I go and play a section which should be silent, you can see it's kind of all over the place there. So there is a bit of noise there in the video. So I do effect, noise reduction, get to noise profile, and press Control A, Control R. So select all and then repeat effect. It could do a bit of improvement on the sound and the, the effect I use is compressor. So it just makes the sound a little bit richer. And sometimes I do an amplify effect, but I don't think that really needs it in this video. So yeah, that, that's probably perfectly fine, that amplification effect. In fact, it may need to come down a little bit. So yeah, and, no, I'll leave it as it is. So then I export the audio stream, export it to a FLAC file, because I, because I don't want anything compressed at this point. I have a more compressed file when it comes to the final rendering. So yeah, VirtualBox upgrade, yeah. So yeah, VirtualBox upgrade and then OK, because I don't need any of the tags. So I have two files here, and what I want to do is merge them together. And I used a script I wrote uh, a while back, which uses FFmpeg to merge the two files together. So what I'm doing is checking to see if an input and output file exist, and then I use a sort of naming convention I set. So I've got input file, then add .flac.mkv, and then the output file is just uh, the file name with hyphen processed at the end of it. And to see it in action, it's just simply vid merge VirtualBox upgrade. So that gives me a video file with a new audio stream. So I can open up KDN Live and drag the file in there. The settings I use for the project are HD 1080 at 60 frames a second. The exception is news videos, which I still record at 30 frames a second because I wrote the because I've done the transition effect some time ago and for a simple sort of news clip, it doesn't really matter at 60 or 30 frames a second. You're not really gonna gain much and I reduce my rendering time quite substantially. So in terms of the effects I'll need, so I use the volume control, so the, well, the audio correction gain. And for this video, I'm going to need the crop effect. Now the crop effect is one of the worst ones I can put in a video. It uh, substantially increases the time it takes to render it. So yeah, crop, scale and tilt. No, actually I want the edge crop because edge crop recenters the image, crop, scale and tilt kind of just leaves you to recenter and zoom the image yourself on the video. So yeah, edge crop, just trim the top down a bit, a bit at the bottom, uh, let's take some out the right hand side. And so that will be the left hand side as well. So I'll get rid of my unity like launcher. <laughs> Yeah, a bit like that, um, maybe a bit more, a bit less off the left hand side. So you can see I've now got the full screen video. And I hope that'll look okay across the video. So, so the next thing I do is just kind of get rid of some of this rubbish. So where the video actually starts. So I've just, up, so I've just upgraded that. So that'd be the actual starting point. I need to add a bit of silence at the beginning. So we need about one second of silence. So that would be that point. So I cut there, cut there, and then that section reduce the volume down to nothing. So we've now got a space here, so I can just right click, remove space, or drag the whole section of video back towards the left. That's a little bit too loud, so I reduce that volume. So I've just upgraded VirtualBox. 
You can see the volume kind of goes all over the place in my voice. Yeah, that's, uh, I guess my voice gets a bit croaky on the recording, so I, yeah, my, the volume kind of goes all over the place. So I'm just trying to even some of this out. So I'll uh, increase up to 90%. So it's just a case of sorting this video out now. So I'll kind of skip ahead on this and uh, we'll see where we get to at the end of it. So the video at the moment is 50, 57 seconds long. I'll see where I get this down to. So there's a long pause here, so what I could do is either speed this up or just cut the whole section out. And quite often I'll use the outro clip with uh, the Patreon donators in there, so yeah, thanks to you guys who do donate. And that also has cards for a couple of linked videos. So yeah. Okay, so that's kind of it. So the whole video is now, um, well, 39 seconds, where the original footage was one minute. And finally I'll go and render it. VirtualBox upgrade. I selected a custom profile, but it's uh, MP4 with high quality. Or sometimes I use a H.265 as well. Actually, I use H.265 for a change. So yeah, render to file. Because that's a fairly small video, it shouldn't take too long. So one minute, no, two minutes. Well, the increased time is because it's got the crop effect on there. As I said, that takes a while to render. I think it pretty much blows it out to four times the original video length or more like nearly five times. So that was a look at how I create and edit my videos in Linux. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.